I'm Shonda Morris with the Central Insurance Companies, and today we're going to talk about sump pump maintenance. There are many reasons excess water can find its way into your basement. There's runoff from heavy rains or melting snow, the soil around your home may not drain properly, or you could have cracks in your foundation walls. A sump pump is great for helping you remove this excess water from your basement, but many times a sump pump can sit for months without use, so annual maintenance is extremely important to make sure it's running properly. We are here in the basement of the Central Insurance Companies, and today I have with me Tim Fremont from the Central Insurance Facilities Department. Hi, Tim. Hi. Thanks for joining me today. Yep. Tim is going to demonstrate for us the steps that you should take to make sure your sump pump keeps pumping. The first thing you should do before working with your pump is to turn off the breaker and then unplug the power cord to disconnect power to the pump. Next, disconnect the sump pump from the discharge pipe and remove the pump from the sump pit. Some water may run back to the sump from the check valve once the pump's removed. We recommend safety glasses and gloves for these next steps. First, remove the check valve. Next, clean debris from the exterior of the pump. A garden hose can also be used to clean the pump. Use a wire brush to clean the pump inlet screen. You may want to inspect the check valve and clean the pump inlet screen more often than once a year, maybe every three to four months. Next, inspect the check valve. Check the owner's manual to see if the pump bearings require grease or oil. If you do not have the owner's manual, you can look up information about your pump on the internet using the manufacturer and model number. After the pump has been cleaned, Reconnect the check valve and place the pump back in the sump pit. Check the power cord and then restore power to the pump by plugging the pump in and flipping the breaker. Next, test the pump by dumping a bucket of water into the sump pit to raise the float and make sure the pump turns on, adjusting the float if required. If the pump turns on, your maintenance is complete. Now remember that the standard homeowner's policy does not cover many types of damage caused by water, including water overflowing from a sump pump or backing up your sewers and drains in your basement. Many insurance companies offer water backup coverage, so contact your agent about having this coverage added to your policy. Some companies even offer premium discounts or credits if you've taken preventative measures to avoid costly water loss in your home. Remember, a few simple steps now can avoid a big headache later.